actor Marcelo Mastroianni and conductor Claudio Abado um, sit in a cafe in Rome and discuss life and their successful careers. And, and, uh, and so uh, Mastroianni says, Claudio, it must be really fascinating to conduct. And Abado says, yeah, it's very fascinating. And I imagine, Mastroianni, such this, this feeling of power when you have this whole orchestra sitting in front of you. And Abado answered, uh, no, 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 this is not about power, this is about love. And I was like, oh, wow, what does he mean? And since then I've had the, the opportunity to play with this conductor quite a few times and I think I know a little bit better what, uh, what, uh, what he means. He's talking about the joy of playing music together with other people as an act of love. And that doesn't always happen, but when it does happen, there's such an attentiveness and such an ability to listen and to play, sort of a free play of creativity, if you, if you like, that, is, uh, that, is, that I also experience as, as something very, very loving. So that's that, but then there's also um, um, different dimensions of love in music. And um, one of them I'd like to explore a little bit, and also with music. And it starts with a story. I was, uh, had the opportunity to, to be at a chamber music um, course back as a student in Jerusalem many years ago. And uh, one of the teachers there, the main teacher, was um, a famous violinist, Isaac Stern. And we were all very much looking forward to meeting Mr. Stern. It was an, an honor and, and we were expecting this wonderful uh, uh, thing to happen. But then when we did meet him, this was Mr. Stern. Hello. So, play me something. We were scared. We had to play a piece in a very dark hall and Mr. Stern, together with his colleagues, he went on the balcony. It was an empty hall. He went, went on the balcony with dark sunglasses, sitting there like this, to listen to each of the ensembles. Not saying much, but when he did say something, it was grumpy and it was nasty. And we were very afraid that this was going to last for two weeks and um, prepared the second day of, uh, of uh, coaching very intensely and tried to somehow make this man happy, who was obviously an old grumpy man who, who did not enjoy himself terribly much. After the second day, after the second teaching, he said at the end, all right, everybody go now. And uh, you violinist Etienne, come with me there to the side room and I'm gonna show you something um, on, on the fiddle. I was scared, obviously. We went to the side room. He said, give me that fiddle. I gave him the violin and in the process of him taking the violin, something extraordinary happened. It was like a chemical reaction. He picked up the instrument and started transforming completely. And then he played this. There you go.
and he gave him back the instrument and he was the old grumpy man again. And I've never seen anything like that before or after. It was a, a really a transformation. The man was not able to stay in his other self when he had the, the, the instrument uh, in his hand. And it was a lesson in what an instrument or what a relationship to an instrument can, can do to a person. And um, I've met only very few people since, um, one of them being uh, Claudia Bado, this conductor, but also uh, Sasha Kolpakov, a um, Russian gypsy musician, where something similar happens when they pick up, when they do what they do, when they pick up their, their instrument or when they uh, start conducting. But it's my inspiration whenever I play now to get into this and get into this um, relationship. And I'm going to play you now um, one piece by Telemann, a solo piece, solo violin piece, um, a little story you will hear. <laughs> 